Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news, three new stories, firstly situation in Macaulay, security situation, a briefing by Macaulay Police Commissioner, uh, 53 women raped in the last 10 months in Macaulay City, only in Macaulay City, confirmed by the, by the Police Commissioner in Macaulay. Secondly, uh, two attacks by Afano fighters in Gondar, South Gondar. Uh, some police, some ENDF officials and police officials killed in these attacks. Thirdly, Djibouti uh, trying to stop Ethiopia, Somali land, MOU by putting pressure upon Somali land. Is it backing other state leaders? Did Djibouti cut off electricity, water supply to Somali lands? Uh, uh, consulate in Djibouti. Uh, first story from Macale, Tegarai's capital, where security situation seems to be worsening. We cannot say it's totally out of control. Obviously, security forces are there, but a lot needs to be done. Macale police commissioner yesterday shared details of the last 10 months. What happened in the last 10 months? How many robberies, thefts? Rapes were committed uh, in just Macaulay City. I'm not talking about entire Tigray. I'm talking about just Macaulay City. And these numbers were shared by Macaulay Police Commissioner. 53 women were raped in Macaulay in the last 10 months. Now, these are reported cases because in majority of rape cases, uh, victims don't report. Especially if the perpetrators are relatives, if uh, they are strong people, powerful people, influential people. So victims don't report. These are reported 53 cases, women raped in the last 10 months, according to Macaulay police. 12 murders. Uh, 178 attempted murders, 10 child abductions, 4,340 serious and minor crimes, 1,953 uh, 1, theft cases, 349 robberies, 583 assaults. So these are not my numbers. Numbers were shared by Macaulay Police. Again, I'm saying. So that just shows how the security situation is worsening in Macaulay. A lot needs to be done, especially protection of women. Women should be protected uh, at any cost. Tegrai's brave women a few days ago held a demonstration. Uh, former TDF fighters, some activists, uh, they took to the streets. They asked Tegrai interim government to protect women. Uh, by the way, I have been proposing that Tegrai should introduce special laws, special courts to protect women. When there are uh, extraordinary, uh, when there is an extraordinary situation, we need to take extraordinary measures to violence against women, though it could uh, not be a new phenomenon. People say it has been happening for years. But to counter it, the government will have to introduce something new. Something new means new legislation. Speedy trial, special courts, special cells monitoring the investigations, special investigative uh, techniques, special investigation cells. A lot can be done if the Tigray government is really sincere in protecting its women. Secondly, viewers, uh, two attacks by Fano fighters in South Gondar in the last 48 hours. Firstly, Este 
mechanics the two are in south gondar zone and there a fan of fighter carried out an attack on police chief or city police chief there uh he was injured in this attack some say he has been killed but mostly uh, people say he was injured his vehicle was heavily damaged in this attack it was an ambush attack another ambush attack happened in ibnath here a military vehicle of the ethiopian national defense force came under attack and the soldiers in the vehicle they were injured several were injured vehicle was damaged both were attacks on the vehicles on convoys along main roads ambush attack ambush assassination to uh, effective uh, tactics being adopted by fano fighters lastly viewers jabuti it seems is playing its cards to to undermine the ethiopia somali land amu it is still an amu could not turn into any agreement uh, but uh, jabuti is a casualty of this amu because ethiopia is going to divert its cargo from jabuti ports to Uh, Berbera port of Somali land and Lamo port of Kenya. That is why Djibouti wants to stop this MOU from being implemented. Djibouti has been very critical of Somali land government of Musi Bey Abdi since day one, since the signing of the MOU. Because a day before the signing of the MOU, between Abi and Musi Bey Abdi, Musi Bey Abdi was in Djibouti where he held talks with Hassan Sheikh in the presence of Djibouti by Ismail Omar. Djibouti felt. Uh, Uh, betrayed when Musi Abdi went to Addis Ababa a day after his meeting with uh, Hassan Sheikh in Djibouti, and Musi Abdi there signed the MOU with Ethiopian Prime Minister. And Djibouti, in its statements, criticized the Somali land. Musi Abdi, reportedly, uh, water, electricity supply to Somali land's embassy, its, its consulate in Djibouti. has been cut off government says that uh, the dues have not been paid by somali land authorities yesterday we heard about arrival of uh, odel state uh, leaders in djibouti odel state leaders are being backed by mogadishu to mogadishu wants these odel state leaders to secede not secede to split with the uh, somali land and join the federal government and if ethiopia gains access to sea uh, through somali land obviously it will have to pass through odel state in the proposed ethiopian naval base is also situated in odel state and some elements in odel state uh, they have been struggling for the establishment uh, uh, they've been struck uh, struggling to split with the somali land and join the federal government of somalia since odel state shares border with djibouti djibouti is a key player here odel does not share border with uh, mainland somalia it shares border with djibouti that is why if anything is happen in odel djibouti's role is crucial djibouti could back elements which are uh, unionist elements or even separatist elements in odel uh, and that is why odel state Uh, leaders are visiting Djibouti. Musi Bey Abdi yesterday spoke. I think he criticized uh, Djibouti uh, for backing elements in other state. So Djibouti playing its cards, trying to stop the Ethiopia-Somali land MOU from being implemented. Thank you for watching.